Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for the 26th of, of September. Keep in mind that they are general readings, as always. Take it applies if it applies, you know what to do with the rest of it. This could be in friendship, partnership, love ship, career, family, however it applies. And, um, oh, I want to tell you about Wednesdays, about joining me and my great peeps when I go live, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and um, you can see this being done live, as well as a look-in on all the zodiac signs. So come join us. And uh, October brings a new raffle. So I will let you guys know about that in the October uh, videos that come out, which will come out really soon. Because I've been working on them. But this is the second attempt about doing this random reading. It's pretty juicy, so I didn't want to, you know, pick up the cards. So we're just going to start from the beginning again, from when I flipped the cards over. So we started off with the devil, could be a Capricorn, but something toxic, something, you know, codependency, sex, gambling, chocolate, smoking, you name it, but something that somebody doesn't think they can ever get away from or it's ever going to change, but somebody's looking and seeing how toxic someone is with the eight of swords in reverse, blindfold off now. But something they didn't see before, oh, they see it now. And it could have been they met this person at a gathering, some sort of social event. It's a three of cups, it's a reuniting card. You know, maybe an old friend someone hasn't seen in a while. Three people, though. Maybe that's where something started. Somebody saw something. Because after, we get somebody on the outs here. You know, the Five of Pentacles is, you know, feeling left out, shunned, blocked, the outside looking in, abandoned, alone. But that's okay because this person wants to leave this alone, leaving a situation behind and going to a potentially better one. Now, under the Devil, we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or somebody who takes on these, prop uh, these properties. You know, they can come off a little bit cold. They're all about facts, figures, numbers. You know, the emotions come second. It's right under the devil card. This could be somebody who has maybe narcissistic tendencies, control issues. And I almost kind of feel that, you know, he keeps it all down on the down low when they're around friends or family. But when, when it's just them, it's a different story. What they see clearly could be a third-party situation, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or someone who takes on these properties. This person's grounded, practical, methodical. They like to have material things. They work hard for them, though. And they're realists. They're not going to give themselves flights of fancy or sugarcoat anything. Now, there's the two people. Could have something to do with the Capricorn, too. And then we have the Four of Swords. Somebody's taking a, a pause, a break. Reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, making a plan B. And I kind of almost thought in the first video that maybe somebody's going to stay with their family. Somebody gets kicked out. Or they leave. By their own free will. Because if it is a third party situation, they're not having it. They're not going to be the side of mashed potatoes here. <laughs> because there was juggling going on. It's the Two of Pentacles. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? Pick one. You can't keep two. And this is right under the Five of Pentacles. I'm kind of thinking that maybe somebody removed themselves out of a situation. You know, they didn't want to choose one or the other, but they have to choose if they want to keep these people in their life, whether it's toxic or not so toxic. This person wants to leave this hot mess behind but and look for something that's more balanced, more fair. The 50-50 deal. Someone who gives as much as, you know, the other person. Now, the bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. So somebody, you know, is looking optimistic to the future. You know, they're going to take that one course of action. They're going to change something. And when this person's gone... They're gone. 
And there's going to be some would-haves, some could-haves, some regrets here. Five of Cups right under it. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice. Somebody's looking for their happiness. And they're not going to find it with this shady. So let's break this one down, folks. <laughs> We have something that's very either codependent, toxic, it's just negative. It could be with an air-like person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or it could be an air-like person, the other person that's dealing with the toxicity. Somebody sees something clearly now. And it could be in another person. One is more grounded, practical. Maybe a little bit more easygoing. But there's a break from all of this. There's a break from a potential third party situation. <laughs> three and three. I think somebody's just done either being the side piece or just done with both of them. Get a look at this from all sides. Because somebody is on the out. Someone's alone. Whether they went rogue themselves, you know, dropped the whole thing. Or they were dropped because they were juggling. Like I said, ain't gonna be no side of mashed potatoes here. And somebody left something behind. Because they want to find, find something that's more balanced, more fair. They want somebody who's gonna give as much as they do, not just keep on taking it and give nothing. Ooh, so somebody's moving on. And in time, I do believe that somebody will regret that side of mashed potatoes. Wow. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> very, very interesting here. Um, thank you for liking, subscribing, subscribing to all to all my channels, to my channel. And uh, hopefully I get to see more of you guys Wednesday. So until then, take care.